Hello and welcome to Baiju's IAS. Let's get started and look into our daily quiz. Let's look into the first question. Consider the following statements about Raja Mircha. It is a variety of chili from Andhra Pradesh considered as the world's hottest chili. It got GA certification in 2008. Which of the above statements is or correct? The answer to this is two only. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article in the PIB makes a mention of Raja Mircha. Raja Mircha is from the state of Nagaland and it is not from Andhra Pradesh. Yes, the second statement is right. It was accorded the GI certification in the year 2008. So the answer to this would be two only because it is not from Andhra Pradesh but instead it is from Nagaland. When we look into this particular Nagaland Mirchi, it is also called as the Boot Jalokia. It is also called as the Ghost Paper. And according to Scoville Heat Units, it is one of the hottest chili in the world. What is this Scoville Heat Unit? This is one of the indicators where we would be able to measure the pungency. How hot it is, how spicy it is, what is the heat of the chili pepper or the chili that will be characterized by the Scoville heat unit. If the number is greater, the pungency of that particular chili paper will be comparatively more is what is the Scoville heat unit. Now let's look into the next practice question. Which of the following is are the string puppets? Kathputli, Tolu Bommalata, Tolpovakutu, Putala Nach. The answer to this is 1 and 4 only. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article here makes a mention of Kathputli. Do remember Kathputli is one of the string puppets and this is from the state of Rajasthan. When we look into Tolu Bommalata and Tolpovakutu, these are not the string puppets but they are the shadow puppets. And when it comes to Putalanach, this happens to be a string puppet and this is practiced in the state of Assam. Now if we go back to Kathputli, what does Kath stands for? It means Ud. Putli here stands for a doll. So Kathputli is a string puppet performance. The main centers where they are practiced in Rajasthan are in Jaipur as well as Jodhpur. When it comes to these string puppets performed in Jodhpur and Jaipur, they are mostly performed by the Butt community. They are the ones who prepare it and they are the ones who perform as well. So kindly remember, it is the Butt community which is engaged in the string puppets. As part of the assignment, you guys have to put on the comment section in which state is Tolu Bomalata practiced, in which state is Tolpavakutu practiced and do remember Tolu Bomalata and Tolpavakutu are shadow puppets and not string puppets. Now if we have to look into different types of string puppets, what we have is Kathputli which is practiced in Rajasthan, Kundai which is practiced in Orisha, Gumbayata which is practiced in Karnataka and Bommalatam which is practiced in Tamil Nadu. Now let's look into the next practice question. Arrange the following capitals from west to east. It is asking for west to east configuration. So we have Astana, Bishkek, Ashkabat and Tushbande. The answer to this is 3, 4, 1 and 2. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article here makes a mention of Tajikistan. If you look into the map, what we have first is the Ashkabat, followed by Tushbande, followed by Astana. Finally, what we have is the Bishkek. This arrangement is from the west to east. So, which is the correct combination? The correct combination in the answer would be 3, 4, 1 and 2. Now, if you look into this article, the article goes on to say that Russia will boost Tajik army with weapons. What is happening? What we have is Afghanistan in this region. Afghanistan of late is being controlled by the Taliban. Most of these districts come under the control of the Taliban. So, what it may have is the spill of the radicalism to Tajikistan, which is why Russia also has bases in Tajikistan as well. So, what is Russia doing? Russia is engaging in talks with Tajikistan. It will have an upgrade the military proposal in this particular area, train the personnel in Tajikistan and ultimately prevent any spillover from Afghanistan 
to Tajikistan, which is what this article speaks about. It says that the military personnel will be trained in Russia. There will be other military accessories which will be provided and at the same time, Russia will keep a constant monitoring of what would happen in Tajikistan to prevent any spread of radicalism into Tajikistan. Now let's look into the next practice question. Which of the following has have been accorded the geographical indication tag? Kanjipuram silk, Arani silk, Ballachuri Sari, Patan Pathola, Venkatagiri Saris. The answer to this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article here makes a mention of Kanjivaram Silk Sari. Do remember, all these saris and the silks and the handlooms have been accorded the geographical indication status. As part of the assignment, you have to put on the comment section the state where the silks and the saris originate from. Kanchipuram silk is from the state of Tamil Nadu. Venkatagiri saris is from the state of Andhra Pradesh. But you have to put on the comment section the other three saris and the handlooms from where they originate from. Now let's look into the next practice question. In India, if a religious sect or community is given the status of a national minority, what special advantages it is entitled to? It can establish and administer exclusive educational institutions. The President of India automatically nominates a representative of the community to Lok Sabha. It can derive benefits from the Prime Minister's 15-point program. Which of the statements given are is or correct? The answer to this is 1 and 3. This happens to be a previous year question from the year 2011. When we look into the first option, yes, it is right. They can establish and administer exclusive educational institutions and at the same time, they would also be able to derive benefits from the Prime Minister's 15-point program. What is this 15-point program? This is a program launched by the Indian government for the welfare of the religious minorities. There might be issues in their religion. There might be social economic indicators which might not be good. Whether it is in terms of the education or it is in terms of the health indicators or there might be abysmal poverty as well. Recognizing them, upgrading the infrastructure so that all these program schemes and measures ultimately reach the minorities is the intention of the 15 point program. Since the second option is wrong, the answer to this would be 1 and 3 only. Now let's look into the fact of the day. The fact of the day for today's discussion happens to be about Chandrayaan 3. What is this Chandrayaan 3? As the very name denotes, it is the third mission of India to moon. We have had earlier missions as well, Chandrayaan, Chandrayaan 2 and now what this will be is the third mission to understand the history behind the moon. Chandrayaan 3 will be a mission which will be a repetitive part of the Chandrayaan 2. What will it have? It will have the lander, it will also have a rover similar to that of the Chandrayaan but it will not have an orbiter. Why does it not have an orbiter? That is because Chandrayaan 2 mission already has a functional orbiter that is currently in orbit as well which is why there is no need of an additional orbiter which is why Chandrayaan 3 will not have an orbiter but it will only have a lander as well as a rover. The lander for Chandrayaan 3 will have about 4 throttle able engines. What are these throttle able engines? As we have seen in the Chandrayaan 2 we were not able to control control the motion of the lander which is why to reduce the lander's velocity before landing on the moon what we will have is a four throttle able engine followed by this additionally the Chandrayaan 3 will also be equipped with the laser Doppler velocimeter what is the function of this again for the better measurement of the speed during the landing process the laser Doppler velocimeter is employed as the name denotes it will help in controlling and measuring of the speed so that it is able to land on the moon in a precise manner. Besides, there will be improvement in the communication and power systems. There will be changes in the software as well as the algorithms. So all those issues that we had seen in Chandrayaan 2 will be updated. We will have better power and communication system, software and algorithms. Ultimately, what we will have is a successful implementation of the Chandrayaan mission in the third mission, says ISRO. Now the question is, what is the most important factor of Chandrayaan 3? Like Chandrayaan 2, it is also aimed at landing the rover 
on the uncharted lunar south pole so this will be one of the missions which will be launched at the south pole now the question is why is that isro and many other organizations worldwide like nasa are planning to launch their missions at south pole that is because when it comes to the south pole it is untouched by the sunlight since it is untouched by the sunlight what we will have is certain advantages since the craters will be untouched by the sunlight for billions of years we would be able to understand the solar system's origin as well so if we are able to understand the solar system origin we would be also able to generate enough meaning from this particular mission added to this there is a lot of water in this particular area this might also hold tons of water as well so we would be able to understand how there is the presence of water in this particular region added to this there is untapped resources as well let's say for example silver these are the resources which might be present in the south pole so this particular project will explore if there are traces of hydrogen ammonia methane sodium mercury in fact if resources is like silver can be explored that will also be taken up as part of this project so basically untapped resources of the essential resources can be taken up as part of chandrayaan 3 as well so what is the significance of this particular project chandrayaan 3 will be very important for isro why with this accomplishment on chandrayaan 3 it would be able to take multiple other missions in the near future for example it can also be on mars as well as understanding the solar system as well as interplanetary missions it is this that we have to understand in reference to this article so this is it for today thank you for watching all the best